Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Vasiliki and in this video we're going to test together the Color Boost by Nilicious Liquid Lipsticks by Essence. Some of you were asking me how this compared to the matte liquid lipsticks. I have done lip swatches for a lot of the matte liquid lipsticks by Essence and I decided to get these and make a video and I will do lip swatches and a wear test so we can see if they are long lasting. The price for each liquid lipstick is two euros and 75 cents and we get eight milliliters of product if you want to see the lip swatches for the matte liquid lipsticks i will have a card here and you can find all of this let's start with this color this is number three pink interest the applicator is exactly the same with the matte liquid lipsticks we have a shape like hourglass let's see if it is easy to apply this formula This one is very light for me and you can see that it is a little bit streaky and you can see my own lip color. These are very easy to remove, they are not like the matte liquid lipsticks. After that we have number two, nude is the new cute. This one has a stronger scent than the previous color and some of you also told me that these have a very strong chemical scent and that you don't like that. The color is amazing. It doesn't smell very nice. This looks so good on the lips. It is so luxurious and glossy. After application, you don't smell the lip gloss. However, if you are sensitive, you may not like this one. I would suggest to find a sample in the store and see if you like the scent. Smooth application. Tink. Let's continue with number five, Lolly Lolly Pop. This one has also a stronger scent. It is very similar to the number two, Nude is the new cute. So this formula is not staining the lips. It is very easy to clean the edges with just a Q-tip. It's not completely smooth on my lips. I can see my lip color on some areas, but let's not forget that this is a lip gloss and not a liquid lipstick. I think the pigmentation is very good for lip glosses. The name of this product is a little bit confusing, but in fact, it is a lip gloss and not a vinylicious liquid lipstick. With this one, I think it is better if you apply red lipstick as a base all over your lips and after that apply the lip gloss because it moves a lot and it gets on the teeth. It doesn't have a taste. Also, I'm not smelling the chemical scent that we had in the beginning. This is not a very intense red lipstick. I think it has a little bit of coral pink. Afterwards, we have number eight, I'll make you blush. The scent of this one is very similar to number three. That's weird. This looks like a dark mauveish shade. Let's see how it looks on the lips. Oof, this is a very vampy color. I love it. These are getting on the teeth, so make sure to apply something like a base. With this one, we also have an even layer of color on my lips. It is very glossy and lightweight on the lips. The application is easy for the lighter colors, but for the darker colors, it's not that easy. And I would suggest to use a lip pencil to outline your lips and after that, apply the darker colors. The matte liquid lipsticks have a softer scent. It is not very overwhelming and the vanillicious liquid lipsticks, I think they have a little bit of a stronger scent and not for all the colors. I like that the matte liquid lipsticks have a matte packaging and the glossy, they have a more, you know, vanillicious finish. They are glossy and lightweight on the lips. They have a more thicker consistency and they are not creamy. They have like a gel formula, not a mousse creamy formula but you don't feel anything on your lips and some of the colors are very shiny and beautiful on the lips. I will keep this color for my wear test. Hi guys, it's been two hours and I wanted to do a quick check-in to see what is happening with the lipstick. Zoom, zoom, zoom. The lipstick is still very glossy and I still have a lot of color. It's not as intense as before because it is a lip gloss. The sad thing is that it is bleeding on my upper lip. It doesn't look nice. 
I don't like what I see. I will clean it with a Q-tip and I want to see how it will look in a couple of hours. Hi guys, it's been three more hours and let's see what happened with the lipstick. As you can see, my lipstick is bleeding a little bit more on the upper lip. Also, the color has faded in the inner part of my lips. To prevent that, you can use a lip pencil to outline your lips. Now they are a lot drier and not glossy anymore and that's fine this is a lip gloss it's another liquid lipstick i will apply some more to see how it looks you can have this in your purse and apply some more if you want to if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below what is your favorite color of these liquid lipsticks the vinylicious and also share this video with a friend that likes glossy lipsticks maybe they will like this formula if you want to learn more about makeup and also see some more videos from me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!